Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to what do it, that it may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily as the Lord God of thy fathers had promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. That means God tied your prosperity to your obsession. So when God has chosen to work with you, he does not tie your prosperity to his mercy. Okay, sorry. Let me make a proper line of divide. Let me use this chair so that it will not be here for nothing. Let me put a proper line of divide. What many people call prosperity is actually supposed to be the, uh, the meeting of the everyday need. Now, the meeting of everyday need has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the faithfulness of the Father. Are you still alive? You don't call yourself prosperous until you can establish the cities of God by your finance. Through your prosperity shall my cities be heard. So anytime God says, and they prospered greatly, referring to financial prosperity, Go and check it. They had arrived at the place where they could build cities for God to be glorified in. So David took the mountain of the, what's the name of that tribe? Jebusites. Right? That's what became Jerusalem. Took the mountain of the Jebusites. Then the Bible says, and he built cities round about it. That's how the city of God, the Zion of God was formed. So you don't say, I have prospered because you have food and you can drink water and you can carry your family for vacation. You only arrive at saying, I have prospered when you can build cities. There's too much to do in northern Nigeria. And nobody outside northern Nigeria seems to see how much there is to do. So, we who are Northern Nigerianers must be the ones who begin to seek God's pathway to say, what does it take for you to be pleased with us enough to send us sufficient prosperity to answer this thing? God made it very bad so that the quest becomes our only answer. Let me help you understand. So God made sure that there were generations before you who gave the impression that they were going to work in Northern Nigeria who collected the money and quaffed it. So those who gave money before are not even willing to give money now. The moment you sit with a foreign missionary body, they are just thinking one African thief, one African thief is the legacy of your fathers. Do you understand this? Why did God permit it? He permitted it so that our only pathway is the quest. And hear this. God now tied your prosperity and you're increasing mightily to your obsession of him. Unfortunately, Satan whispers to our ears that if you get obsessed with God, you will lose out on life. That's our fear now. That's our fear. Come on Tuesday, I will give you the proper balance for it. Because I just told you in this service that your job is not the reason why you are distracted from focusing on God. That means you can do your job faithfully. Arrive at the office on time. My God. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord our God for the Lord our God is mighty yes the Lord our God is omnipotent the Lord our God he is you see these are the things I don't say so people don't know why I do the things I do because we are on a journey of obsession there are many things I'll begin to say to you 
because I was speaking about the deliverance of the north, the courts of heaven began to sing this song. It's a revelation song. So, people just think, we, we stop in the midst of a message, you know, you know Pastor Tintok and Pastor A, they just, one sentence, then they'll sing. You don't ask us, Hallelujah, 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 is love. Listen, you are speaking on the earth. Heaven is hearkening and hearing. And the songs of heaven are sung prophetically. And they are sung after the order of the hope of God. Ah. Every time the hope of God rises in the direction of something he wants to fulfill on the earth, heaven sings the song of his heart. What I'm saying to you in essence is that the hope of God for the prosperity of the north is risen. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. Say it. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. Say that one more time. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord. For the Lord our God is mighty. For the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is one. For the Lord our God, for the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God is one. Hear yourself. The Lord our God, for the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God is one. One more time. The Lord our God, for the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God is one. Say it again. Oh, the Lord our God, for the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God. He is one. One more time. The Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. Say the Lord our God is one. From the top. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. Honor and power unto the Lord. Say hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord. Say that one more time. Say Omnipotent, nothing can stop him. When he wheels in a direction, there's no position on the earth. The Lord our God. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God is 
One more time. For the Lord our God, for the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. Oh, the Lord our God. Give me back verse 3. Here therefore, O Israel, observe to do it. Two years ago, we called for it. Observe and do. That it may be well with thee, and that you may increase mightily. As the Lord God of your fathers had promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Verse 4, hear this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one lord next verse and thou shalt love the lord thy god with what all thine heart and with what all thy soul and with what strength that's why you cannot be obsessed with god in your soul and your strength does not show it both in worship and in life I don't believe there's a gentle worshiper in the world. I only believe that there are people who reserve themselves from responding to the motions of God within them.